Why this come there, cuss? Ha ha! I think you want to kill us. People are dying every day, but you don't want to know. You don't want to know. You want to kill us? You want to kill us? I think you the fuck. I think you the fuck. But guess what? See, only this shall be attention. This Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Well, welcome to this Facebook page and YouTube channel. Okay guys, don't come back here. I told myself things they go out matter to play for Nigeria. And then to bring a come on a doorstep, make one say things they unfold. Without wasting much of our time. Guys, let's go straight down to this news. See, I came here to discuss about Nigeria, about what is going on in the country. You see, I don't like when I talk about Nigeria, people come after me, attacking me, as if I'm the only person feeling the pains in that country guys let me play you guys a video just look at these two little boys sending message to the government to the politicians who is like see it's high time everybody come outside and speak two little children came out to send message see with their musical with their music they send message to nigeria government to the politicians who is maltreating them bad they don't care about the citizens guys take your time watch this video please i will beg you share the video because the only way we'll be saying yes i'll visit the total and i'll be this one so nigeria youth wake up wake up speak out but i meant if tini don't condemn nigeria don't thief all the money finish they pack all the money they give each children but on a day that they watch me if these two kids can come outside to do this, what are you waiting for? Share this video. No just watch and go. Share this video, I beg you. Watch the will come back. Huh? Hey. <laughs> Politicians, pay attention. Listen. Your body know. Hey. Huh. Why this come there, cuss? Ha <laughs> I think you want to kill us. People are dying every day, but you don't want to know. You don't want to know. You want to kill us? You want to kill us? I pay you the phone. I pay you the phone. But guess what? See, politicians, pay attention. This one is for you. See, I'm going to have my dog on my movie. That's the back. Me, I don't know how to put a strip back. Don't you go to stop back. But my money is going to cost back. See, I can't go cost back. Everything cost back. Let's go hide and let me judge back. Me, I don't know how to put a strip back. That ain't where I think they put my self on the cost back. See, I'm going to leave my money now. We should get to me again. I'm going to leave the money. See, my name is not second nigga. I don't fit to my nigga. Because I know my nigga. Politicians, pay attention. If only they will listen. If only the politicians, Bola Ahmed, Tiftinibu, and others will listen. People are buying every day. Things is expensive. The hardship is skyrocketing. Politicians, pay attention. People are buying. Nigerians. If these two little children can come outside and send message to the politician, what do you they fear for? Why they never see go arrest them? Because they know these people are saying the truth. They are please share this video. They are saying the truth. Politicians, pay attention. People they buy. This they expensive. They cannot buy even Gary way if it's cheap. They don't go fit buy Gary again. See, everything don't skyrock for the country. People, they feel the heat for the country. Bola Ahmed, if they will keep borrowing money every blessed day. No, just tell me, where is this man taking this money to? Where is Bola Ahmed, if they will taking this money to? Where is Bola Ahmed, if they will they go? Now, nah, we can pass now. The bar where Bola Ahmed, if they will get is many little. But if you ask me, where is this man taking this money to? I will tell you, I don't know. Or, this man is gathering this money for his kids. Yes. Because compared to Bola Ahmed, 15 Nibu age now, this man is off bar. He don't go finish. So, all this money that this man is borrowing, you will not see that Bola Ahmed, 15 Nibu borrow how many trillions of dollars to fix anything in Nigeria. No. Do you want to tell me about the poverty? Every day the poverty is skyrocketing in the country. Every blessed day. Bola Ahmed if Tinibu did not fix anything. He did not fix anything. So tell me, what has Bola Ahmed if Tinibu, what has he done? What has he done? 
Since he came into office, what has this man faced in Nigeria? From one problem to another. People are lamenting. People are crying. People, they cry every day. When I will come out to speak, you will see some of these gullible followers of APC. They will come here to attack me. Oh, see, if little children like this can feed the heat, can send message through their song, they tell me, you, the grown-up man, oh, you are waiting for children like this to come and stand and fight for you. Ah, you go tell now for that country. You go tell now need for that country, eh? The youth. If children can feel the eat and come outside and send a message to the politicians and tell the politicians they need to pay attention to what is going on in the country. These are expensive. If you Gary will they manage before till they, you know, till they step their self down, they know they feel the bad Gary again. Like everything don't skyrock. Now so they go the day for the country. Bola met if they keep borrowing money. The other man will come outside to come and lie. Bola met if Tinibu is doing this, is doing that. God swear, Babu. That man will come outside to lie to the public. Tell the public that this man is trying. Is doing this like what is Bola Ahmed if Tinibu? What is this man doing for crying out loud? For those of you that are supporting Bola Ahmed if Tinibu, can you tell me one thing that Bola Ahmed if Tinibu has done in Nigeria that has pleased you guys? Tell me, I want to know. Tell me because people are crying, people are crying. I love these kids, what they did. The government need to know that the country is not funny anymore. See, people they feel the heat for body. Nigeria is not in Nigeria we know back then. Nigeria is gone. Since the arrival of Bola Ahmed if Chinibu, everything got spoiled. Even when uh, Muhammad Bari was there, it was not like this. At least people were still managing. They were still managing, you know, buy things, but not like this Bola Met if Tinibu regime. This one is like extremely hard. You know, just tell me, how can these people continue like this? How can they continue like this with this mess everywhere? No, we want to know now. Those of you who just come here to say, oh, you are carrying fake news. Can you just tell me what is fake here? One thing I understand here is, for those of you who just say, you're carrying fake news, you're doing this, let me just say you guys, we are writing it out of it or jealousy. May I say that? Because with what we are seeing, with what is going on in Nigeria, you cannot tell me that what we are bringing out here is fake. For real, for real, for real. People are buying. This is expensive. The See, the hardship is skyrocketing every day. And you cannot call that fake news. For real, for real, for real. This is really going on wrong in the country. So the only way me and you can put an end to this issue is for we to come outside. See, if you guys say you don't want to protest, okay, no problem. But speak out. If you don't want to protest, do something. Just look at what these kids did now. They sang to send a message to the politician. And they tag all the politicians on this music for them to know that even the kids are feeling the heat. The kids are feeling the heat. That is to show the leaders have failed woefully. They are not trying at all. They will come online to pretend to lie to the public. Oh, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. But they are not doing anything. Bola Ahmed Tinibu has failed woefully. The only thing this man knows how to do is to borrow money, borrow from this place, borrow from that place just to give fake up. And Nigerians, you guys are still clapping for him. 
Those supporters of Bola met with Tinubu. You guys are still clapping for this man. Oh, Jagaban, Jagaban. Jagaban is not Jagabani. That man is not doing anything. It's high time you guys come out and tell him the truth. That man is not doing anything. That man, they buy the country. The man, they buy the country, make you not know this. That man is giving Nigeria RIP every day. People can no longer undo what is going on in the country. Every day. Every day. Is it because you guys are not seeing it on TV or on media? People are buying every day in Nigeria because of the hardship. People are going every day. The hardship. People can no longer feed. People can no longer feed. Bola Ahmed Tifinibu came with fake promises, fake hope. None of this Bola Ahmed Tifinibu passed out. He didn't give anybody anything. And he promised you guys that he will give you guys 8,000 era, he will do this, he will do... Bola Ahmed Tifinibu never did any of this. But he promised everybody fake, fake promises. Now, when I come here to discuss about this man, you will see there is this. Oh, if I see you again, my brother, for it this time, I will block you because there will be the bad people we don't know, we don't want to make Nigeria better. Now, will be the bad people. If I see you this time for my Facebook page, I'm going to block you for real because those of you who don't want the betterment of Nigeria that does come here to say shit, bro, you deserve my blocking this time. I'm kicking you out of my platform for real. You are not welcome here. Because Nigeria, if we not talk now, the country will remain for inside this shambled condition all day. We don't go for months. So all this need to it, we will come and call Yan anyhow. All this ball I met, if you need to it, when I will come and talk with TBC, yes, when I don't know. See, I, I just repeat sooner. By the time when I go, no, you don't let. You don't violate. But now, you guys see how chance since this man came into office, he don't borrow more than how many trillions of dollars. And this money that this man borrowed, we are not seeing this man fixing anything in the country. Nothing has been fixed in Nigeria. Nothing. If now get me a ball, I met if me for fish, see what he do. Please send the video for me. Let me let me blog it. Send it to me. But as far as I'm concerned. PK, I haven't seen anything that Bola Ahmed Tiftinibu has done in Nigeria. But this man keep borrowing money every blessed day. They just recently passed a B that he collected 150 billion US dollars for what now? To do what with? No, to do what with? Before now, this man has been borrowing a lot of money. Like billions, billions, billions. If you ask me, what is Bola Ahmed if Tinibu doing with this money? Bro, I don't know. I don't know because this man is not doing anything in Nigeria. He's so unfortunate that Nigerians refuse to come outside to tackle this government. Refuse to come outside to tell them that, oh, enough is enough. This is stealing by trick. This is stealing by trick. Telling you guys that He's borrowing the money for this. He's borrowing the money for that. But this man is not doing anything with those money. But he takes this money, bank it in his bank account. Bank this money in his bank account. And you guys are watching him doing it. And you're not doing anything about it. Bro! By the time we go Rosso. <laughs> it's a lot of Rosso. German is not By the time we go Red. Oh God. When I go No Say Yes. When are they come and come to tell us this just now? Say, oh, PK, tell us. I tell them, but I don't listen. Look at these little kids. The politicians. Pay attention. People, they buy food they had to eat. Everything expensive. You guys got to do something about it before everybody buy finish for the country. Nigerians, this is our last chance. Please, all of you come outside. Speak out. Speak out in the name of God. I will end this video and come in peace. Please help me to share this video. Share the video as you do so. God bless you. And if you know you want to win 150 euro, please subscribe to this YouTube channel.
or the family phone TV. If you know you want to win 150 euro, subscribe here. I'll be going to holiday this month, so I'll bring out five countries. In these countries, you got to choose one for you to win 150 euro. As you do so, God bless you. See you guys in my next video. Stay safe, guys, and bye bye.